Well, if you're in the market for a home in San Diego, you've probably already noticed by now, real estate prices in the region are at an all time high. Here with us um, and some tips for prospective buyers, Jim Petrell. Jim, good morning. Good morning. So tell me what we're seeing here. Well, we're seeing eclipse. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, yes, we are all seeing the eclipse, but uh, also something that is kind of, I mean, I never thought it was going to get this high. We're seeing all-time record highs, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing all-time record highs. Um, I've been saying since January of this year, you know, I came in here maybe 15 times where you guys had articles in the Wall Street Journal and Forbes and all these things saying prices are going down and saying, no, they're not. Yeah. They've been going up and they're going to continue to go up and it's because there's a shortage of houses. Uh, we have a shortage of structures in San Diego County and mm -hmm. there's such a shortage that builders are not going to get us out of it. Um, and then also you have from the, the results from that record historic once in a lifetime low interest rates where people have, you know, 82% of people who have mortgages have an interest rate that starts with a two or a three. They know they're never going to get that again. So they're simply not giving that up. And the way you keep that, uh, the way you keep that interest rate is you keep the house and don't put it up for sale. So it is a shortage driven uh, supply shortage is why the prices are going up and that supply shortage is going to last for another five to ten years at least. Okay, so if you're a buyer, what do you do? Well, you know, it's tough. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's incredibly hard right now to be a buyer. Um, to, what you're renting at right now and what you'd have to pay to buy a house is, is a big difference, but we know that rents never stop going up without limitation. Mm -hmm. um, my advice is the first time home buyer, it's tough to say, but your first home is not your dream home. It's never your dream home. It's a necessary stepping stone to get to your dream home. It gets you in the game is what it is. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people out there that are saying, I can't afford to buy. And while there are some, most of them are choosing not to buy. They're saying, well, I have a four bedroom, three bathroom house now that I rent, but if I was to buy, I'd have to buy a three bedroom, two bathroom house in an area that's not as nice. And they're choosing to maintain their short term renting lifestyle mm -hmm. versus moving into the long term owning lifestyle. And, and once you own that first home, you're in the game. You're immune, I say this all the time, you're immune to housing prices going up. In fact, you're cheering because yeah. you're making money while you sleep, right? Sure. You're immune to interest rates going up, which I think they're gonna continue to. We're never gonna get back down to those, those lows again. Um, and you're immune to rents going up. So what happens if you're a seller right now, if you're saying, hey, I can sell my house? What sellers? No. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. There's not very many <laughs> there of them. There aren't very many. Historic no. lows. Yeah, I mean, in September, we had a record number low sellers. I mean, the last time we had that few houses transact was in, I think, 1984. Wow. Yeah, so there's just not a lot of sellers. But my advice to sellers right now, if you have a house that's listed under 1.5, you're in great shape. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of buyers out there that have never, you know, they weren't around to see those super low interest rates. So this is all they know. All right, so they're, they're doing that with financing. When you go above 1.5 now, it's a totally different market mm -hmm. because those people don't want to you know, pay $2 million or more using a 7.5 or 8.5% interest rate. So they're not really doing that. So that's a much different market. But that, that 1.5 and below, that's a very solid market. So about 80% of all of my sellers over the last three, four years have been yeah. leaving California. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not a surprise. Okay. Um, and they're in great shape because they're going to make a ton of money and they can go anywhere else in the U.S. they want and they can pay cash. Okay, and so obviously, like you said, you're thinking that interest rates, we're not going to see those low numbers again. So if you are trying to figure out a, to a way to buy, I mean... It's tough, yeah, but it's, it's tough. I mean, honestly, and I hate to say it, it's just you're not going to be able to match size for size, square foot for square foot, and what you're renting right now for what you're going to buy. Okay. But once you own, that's a permanent solution. Renting is just a short, I call it a short-term lifestyle. Uh, another thing is about savings. There's people that are renting right now, and they're saving, you know, a couple hundred dollars, three, four, five hundred dollars. When you own, honestly, you don't have to do that anymore because the house does it for you. Okay. And it does it for you much better than you saving, because remember, if you're saving dollars in a bank, that's after-tax money. Yeah. If you're, if you're earning equity, you know, the first quarter million dollars you make as a single person or 500,000 you make as a couple, that's tax-free. Okay. So the savings is much more efficient when you own. Jim Patrell, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Breaking down the bad news for us. All Sorry. right. <laughs> Someday I'll have good news. Yes, Jason, <laughs> toss things over to you.